Now that qualifying is wrapped up, let's take a look at the top five qualifiers in our streetcar classes. In Pure Street at number five, it's Pennsylvania's Dave Acker in his silver 86 Mustang. At number four, it's Dennis Ramsey in his beautiful Tampa, Florida-based 422 cubic inch 97 Mustang. At number three, it's the famous Bill Glidden all the way from Whiteland, Indiana in his record-setting 90 Mustang. Number two, Florida's Jimmy Keene in his black 87 Mustang, qualifying with a 793 at over 172 miles per hour. And the number one qualifier in the Pure Street class, it's none other than Chuck Samuel in his purple passion. A 1992 Camaro with a nitrous purging 415 cubic inch power plant qualifying with a 7.90 at over 176 miles per hour. In the Pro Street DOT class, the number five qualifier is Georgia-based Daryl Watson in his red 1970 Nova with 632 cubic inches of screaming big block Chevy. At number four, it's Eric Jones in his North Carolina-based 68 Camaro blasting out a 766. Number three, all the way from Laguna Hills, California, it's Dan Rowe's outstanding 69 Camaro with a 751 at over 175 miles per hour. Number two, the sleek fire red 1996 Pontiac Firebird of none other than the Louisiana native Mike Steele, a well-known veteran here at the Orlando World Street Nationals. And number one, the unmistakable red blown bad and beautiful 69 Camaro of Jeff Miller from Midland, Virginia with an outrageous 738 at over 194 miles per hour. The qualifying battle is over, but now it's time for the main event here at the World Street Nationals, here at sunny and warm Orlando Speed World. The fans are filling the stands and filling their mugs with cool refreshments. It's a beautiful day here in sunny Orlando, Florida, and we've got a huge number of cars here today. So let's get right to first round of eliminations. And now for the race call, Here's the one, the only, Al Tucci. Well, thank you, Tom. As we get ready for first round of eliminations in Pro Street DOT, the number four qualifier, Eric Jones out of Mibra, North Carolina. That beautiful one-time old Johnny Bank Chevrolet Camaro coming out of the burnout box area. 68, the model year, 632 cubes. Check that beautiful 1989 Chevrolet Camaro out of Mike Fernandez, who came into the field qualified number 13. He's all the way from Plant City, Florida. 540 cubic inch big block Chevrolet aboard. As they back up to the starting line and prepare to battle. This will be our first round of Pro Street DOT. DOT Street Tired Machines, basically uh, some very fast machines. I mean, we can see that Jeff Miller came in out of Midland, Virginia, in the number one qualifying spot in his beautiful 69 Chevrolet Camaro for this event. Let's see, because I know this 68 Chevrolet Camaro in the left lane is one tough customer when it was campaigned by Johnny Banks. Now Eric Jones doing the shotgun driving over there preparing to battle one of the tough customers being Mike Fernandez. All right, the lights are coming down. Both cars in, boom! Oh, and a backfire for the nitrous department for Fernandez. Jones goes on, and it looks like it's gonna be an easy victory. Down to the top end, Jones with an incredible run. Look at that, 763 on street boots at over 180 miles per hour. Next two cars coming to the starting line. Get ready, race fans, you're gonna like this one. The number two and number 15 qualifier. No other than Corky Markward out of Seminole, Florida. Longtime super gas champion in NHRA style racing. He'll take on number two in the world, ladies and gentlemen. The snapper lawn equipment sponsored Pontiac Trans Am of New Orleans and Mike Steele. Mike Steele comes into the DOT Pro Street battle in the number two qualifying spot out of Shreveport, Louisiana the 1996 Pontiac with a 615 cubic inch Chevrolet aboard. On the other hand, Corky Marquardt would be a newcomer to street style racing after racing in uh, various and uh, numerous super gas uh, NHRA style events. This will be new to him, a supercharged Chevrolet, a 1969 model year with a 588 cubic inch alcohol burning Chevrolet on board. 
It's going to be a neat thing here to watch as he'll take on one of the best in the country in the business of street tire, streets tire, excuse me, style drag racing. Let's see as they pull him into the beams. Mike Steele, on the other hand, this guy is just come for uh, more than just bear. This guy's loaded for one heck of a battle. Now the crew checking over Corky Markwart's machine, making sure everything is okay. You can see uh, Richard Earl down there helping out on the team. The lights come down and a great lead for Steele. Sounds like he may be going a ride down there. Some fire coming out of the scoop, just a few pops. And look at the unbelievable win going to Corky Markwart. A great race, Markwart goes another round, takes out one of the toughest in the business and big Hammy Johnson gets those bottles on a purging system. And I'm gonna tell you what, he's gonna have to put a brand new new nipple on that nitro system because that guy's going to town later. supercharged Chevrolet Camaro. 1969, Doug comes in number 12 with a brand new supercharged power plant. He'll take on Daryl Watson. It'll be the Rooster wall building team. Flowmaster sponsored Chevrolet Nova of Daryl Watson. Number five qualifier this weekend out of Lawrenceville, Georgia. The beautiful 1970 Chevrolet Nova sitting over there, ready to go with some of that big nitrous oxide on board. I'll tell you, 632 cubic inches of nitrous assisted Chevrolet. If there's been a team that's been successful in DOT street racing, it's got to be this team right here, being Daryl Watson and the team out of Georgia. As they'll pull him to the starting line. On the other hand, Doug Horween, watch out. He may be number 12 in qualifying, but this kid may have a relation to Buford Puster. He could carry a stick and just whack you with it. Top end, look at the tires going to rise. He burns him up and loses traction. Watson's going to go another round in the post street DOT. Top end charge, check it out, 766 for Watson at over 180 miles per hour. Doug Horween and the guys, well, you could say they're going to enjoy their Sunday barbecue. Oh, speaking of legend, speaking of DOT champions, look at the beautiful 1969 Chevrolet Camaro of no other than Midland, Virginia-based Jeff Miller. He's the number one qualifier here this weekend, qualified with some amazing run. I'm, I'm gonna tell you what, if anybody can catch up, he's got like two tenths on the field with a 738 and a buck 94. Let's see, as they burn it up, it's for sale. He's looking to build a new car, possibly for the 1999 season. Burn it up out of the burnout box area. Check this out, this is a burnout, fans. Look at that, Dale Hammond's beautiful 1981 Chevrolet Camaro with some huge cubes under the hood. 632 cubic inch Chevrolet ready to go to town. Miller, on the other hand, is number one. And uh, believe me, this guy's been number one throughout the country. He is one of the best in the business in DOT street racing. Mrs. Miller now backing her husband into the hot rubber he laid down on that burnout. Well, if you had to pick a winner here, it may be the number one qualifier. Well, you watch number two go out as Corky Markward took out one of uh, Jeff Miller's uh, toughest competitors here this weekend, the number two qualified Mike Steele. Now they'll back him up and prepare for one half of a Pro Street DOT battle here in this outing. Well, that's the sound of 632 cubic inches of naturally uh, aspirated or nitrous oxide assisted big block Chevrolet. On the other hand, Miller prefers to use the supercharged 526 cubic inch Chevrolet. They'll roll into the beams. The RPMs will come up on Miller's machine. Oh, beautiful hole shot would go to Miller in this outing. And the power to move. Check this thing out. The floor are wide open on the top end. Dumps the laundry at a 755, 191, 916, 166 for him. Gentlemen, the sandbagger. I'm talking about the sandman himself, Tony Williams out of Millington, Tennessee. The 1969 Chevrolet Camaro will take on Wild Bill Greeley. Wild Bill with a tremendous smoky burnout on his Pontiac Trans Am. The 1990 machine out of Pinkerton, Ohio. 632 cubic inch Pontiac under the hood. Tony Williams, number eight qualifier. Gotta love this guy. This is all street, pure street right over there. I'm talking about one of the neatest DOT street cars you'll ever see in the country. The thing is though, that the rumor's out, these guys may be turning this thing into a race car. 
Hate to see it, but you know, if you want to keep up with the Joneses, the Millers, or the Steels, you got to do something different than just race that Detroit Metal. All right, there's the thump coming out of Wild Bill Greeley. Can Greeley take on one of the toughest in the business? Number eight qualifier, it would be Williams. Number nine qualifier, Wild Bill Greeley. Lights it out! to the top end, 787 with the wind light going over to no other than Tony Williams out of Millington, Tennessee. An 87, watch this in slow motion, fans. Down on the top end, you want to talk about bumper dragon action? Watch this, 787 to a losing 7.89. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, listen to this. Oh, tremendous burnout, Danny Rowe, all the way from Laguna Hills, California in his 69th small block, supercharged Chevrolet. Well, you'd know, but there'd have to be a tuner that comes with a guy from California. You're not just gonna make the long hike yourself. And the tuner on this car, no other than the one and only John Shelby. You'll remember that name in uh, Orlando history when Shelby and uh, no other than Mike Moran lined up in Pro Street one year. Now, Johnny Shelby helping tune out the small block of Danny Rowe, the number three qualifier, who will take on the number 14 qualified machine of John Fernandez out of Tampa, Florida, and the 69 RS Camaro. Breakdown, it is a broken by one of those points down on the top end. Look at that, a trolling over for Danny Rowe. 738 at 192 miles per hour. Johnny Shelby and the team are just elated. the number 11 qualified machine for our Pierce, our Pro Street, excuse me, DOT class with the big street boots on the back end. This is a cool car right here. Number 11 qualified James Wrench out of Fort Pierce, Florida. 1971 Mustang, 598 cubic inch machine. When was the last time you seen a Pro Street Mustang like this? This is incredible. This is doing one thing for old Henry right now. It's telling him, man, I should have used more wood from the old crates that these things came in. Well, the number six qualified machine of Todd Shepard would have been the uh, furious Fury Wagon, the 62 model year, 526 Hemi. They couldn't make it on a broken uh, run here for Wrench. Looks like Wrench is gonna be happy. I mean, this car is just flat out awesome. Number 11 qualifier taking the number six qualified machine out because he couldn't make the call. Let's see what Wrench has in store for uh, lane choice in the next outing. All right, sounds uh, really good at this point. Sounds like there's some serious cubes under the hood. 598 of them. Now he leaves the starting line, carries it into the second stage of nitrous oxide. Wrench goes down to the top end. Great run. That'll be 825, 159 miles per hour. Wrench and the boys will get it out for the next round. Here comes Jimmy Strobel. He's the number 10 qualifier in the 1964 Chevrolet Corvette. 565 cubes, and you know what? He's doing the right thing. You can see a little bit of smoke coming out of the right bank on that thing. Strobel had a broken by run. Larry Nadeau, a one-time funny car driver, couldn't make the call. So Jimmy Strobel will just take it down, save parts for the latter rounds. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. First round of eliminations in Pier Street Eliminator. Oh, check it out, the smell of burning rubber. Man, oh man, if that's what made that lady's chest grew, I'm going for another hit of it. Hey, God, as we pull in, Dave Acker from A&W Race Cars. They can build the chassis, they can build the motors, they can build everything. That is one wicked little Ford coming up out of Lentown, Pennsylvania. 86 Ford, 406. Get this, cubic inches of Chevrolet under the hood. Man, oh man, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Emilio Catalano out of Toronto, Canada, and the 68 Chevrolet Camaro, the 498 cubic inch Pontiac. He'll roll to the starting line. It's gonna be an awesome one. 10 and a half inch tires, mufflers, nitrous oxide. Build it, make it weigh in at the 3,300 pounds. Here comes Big Angelo, baby. Hang on, as the AW car comes to the beams for the battle. Now they're ready to go. Acker did some awesome wheel stands here last night. Let's see what he's got in store for us now. Acker, go the just a bit. Moves a Mustang in front of the Camaro. Boom, hits the guardrail. Looks like the car park goes to the other guardrail and has to damage a side that was perfect. 
Amazing, man, and what a way to start it off. A&W race car anchor, the crew coming out to save him. The win would go to Emilio Catalano in this run out of Toronto, Canada. Watch this in slow motion race fans. After the leave off the starting line, you see the for sale Chevrolet Camaro of Emilio Catalano out of Canada leaving way out front. Acker brings it to life with that Chevrolet Mustang. Then loses control, tries to correct it, knows he may go on the roof, puts it into a James Bond 007 power slide, bangs off the guardrail. Gosh, man, even got the front clip on the same slide. Goes across the track, and you think the guy from Canada was going nothing but net? Believe me, he said, shot and a goal. They're going another round, baby. Another angle from the top end cameras. You can see it, the cameraman didn't even flinch. Look at this thing coming down. Oh, what a hard hit for Acker. Oh, man. Acker, Acker, the car compactor. What a shot, three wheels. That is one scary move. I mean, I'll tell you what, he built one heck of a race car to take a shot like that. Looks like they're going home early. Well, the crowd loves it. All right, number one qualifier, Fast Times Motorworks, Norton Grove, Illinois-based Chucky Samuels. We'll prepare to battle the supercharged uh, Mustang, which had some problems there on the burnout. They'll have to push him off. It looks like Dennis Lugo. That's a shame. One big name in the Ford racing circuit. Lugo won't make the call to see if he could bang the bow tie in this outing. Chuck Samuels was the first ever seven-second super street car to go into the seven-second zone. Samuels now one of the owners of Fast Times Motorworks. He's the number one qualifier out of Morton Grove, 92 Chevrolet Camaro. Will he go for lane choice? Sure will. Dixon puts his down in. Thompson down on the asphalt. A little bit of smoke. You know what, fans? He may have just visited the piston goddess on that little leave. Hopefully not. Coasting down there, Chucky Samuels will be back for another round with a 12.85 and time to go to lunch. Here comes Bobby Kerwine. Man, you can see Bobby Kerwine out of Frankfurt, Illinois, ready to go in that beautiful Ford Mustang. Sponsored by White's Pit Stop out of Lansing, Illinois. Mike Yagarian. Yagarian out of Toronto, Canada. 68 Chevrolet Camaro, the transmission guys. They know how to build them tough. Let's see, they're the number 14 qualifier. How did they fit it under the hood? 615 cubic inches of Pontiac under that Chevrolet Camaro's hood. That is incredible. Kerwin needs more than Wheaties here. We'll see what he's got. That little 400 cubic inch Ford rolls to the starting line. The Canadians waiting patiently. They're not going to leave soon. smoke out of the chute, 171. There's some serious mile per hour. Check it out, look at Kerwine's front end. That is the sad look of a Grimace Ford losing a race to a Chevy. You see that, it's a pout. The nose compressed up. Here we go with the White's Pit Stop sponsored, Aaron Shepard. Shepard ready to go, he'll take on the Chevrolet Camaro. Hailing out of Clearwater, Florida, Chris Tedeschi. Tedeschi ready to go to 70 Chevrolet Camaro, 482 cubic inch power plant. Qualified number 24, Aaron Shepard, the carpenter, comes in a pound and nail at number nine. Let's see if he can go into primer 1967 Chevrolet Camaro, 434 cubic inch Pat Musi power plant, and a lot of parts from White's Pit Stop. You know why? Because I think he's dating or uh, married to the owner, the owner's daughter. Man, there's something going on there. You better watch out. They're taking it out the back door at night. I know how he makes him so fast. Look at this. Aaron Shepard is going back to the white pit stop shop. And look at Tennessee with a victory. Nine flat to a 924, 154 miles per hour. Man, they had to be pumped. Number 14 or number 24 qualifier taking out the number nine qualifier. That is what the sport of drag racing is all about. Look at, oh man, the skipper too. I'll tell you what, Ginger, hang on because the professor's got some love potion for you. Oh man, look at this, maybe some problems for. Her. It is, look at this, Paul Silva's in the Mustang waiting, but the 67 Camaro Brian Tagalari. in your throat. Nice burnout. Nice burnout. You know what's neat about this one? Rich and the boys are sitting there with the camera wondering if it's a Liberty. It is. Hang on. We're going to bang the clutch and a little banana in the tower side. 
Paul Silva out of Toronto, Canada, 87 Mustang. JP Performance owned uh, him and his brother Joe doing a great job in this drag racing world. They've done a, a big movement for the 5.0 Ford movement, and uh, let's see what they can do here in Orlando this year. Watch the little Mustang, four speed, 384 cubic inches of nitrous oxide assisted, pure street 10 and a half inch fun. All right, bringing the RPMs up. Look at this, the New York based Chevrolet Camaro trying to hang with the Mustang. Digs off the starting line, better hole shot would go to Tagalari, but look at the pony car. with a victory, 164 miles per hour. That moves us into some more Chevrolet action as David Nassavira out of Ocala, Florida burns him up. Along with the White's Pit Stop sponsor, Dwayne Waldrop out of Hobart, Indiana. Man, oh man. All right, here we go. Dwayne Waldrop out of Hobart, Indiana. 1969 Chevrolet with a 427 cubic inch small block Pat Musi power plant. He's ready to go. David Nassavir out of Ocala, Florida, 1967 Chevrolet. Big block set back in the lap with David's lap here on this car. It looks almost like a street stocker. You lift the hood, you see the motor set back way back into the firewall. This car's incredible. I mean, after the years of running it in a stock uh, shape, he said, hey, I got to do something to get around these guys. NASA Vera, a hard charging beer street car, always here at Orlando Speed World. Both Chevrolet is playing the light game. NASA Vera fully staged, waiting on a Waldrop TRZ race car sponsor machine. Rolls it, lays one down, puts the boots down. Oh, man! Look at Dwayne Waldrop blowing his smoke out of the back end. It's a rooster tail of death, baby! And a top end charge. The victory goes over to Dwayne on a whole shot, fans. 879 to a quicker 868. He beat him on a whole shot. How about a 481 to a 635? And the crowd goes nuts. Even Fishman showed up. How about Jeff Prock, the nitrous guru? Next up, here we go. Ford versus Chevrolet in this outing. Terry Woodson out of Kennesaw, Georgia, comes up in the 88 Mustang. Terry Woodson out of Kennesaw, Georgia, comes up in the 88 Mustang. Back it into the hot rubber, he laid down on the burnout. Peter Biello out of Brooklyn, New York, the 80 Chevrolet Camaro with a 406 Chevy, ready to take it on. Ford versus Chevrolet in this Pier Street matchup. Lifting the hood and everything down to the top end. Ford fans gotta love it, going home with a victory down there. Top end charge goes to Woodson out of Kennesaw, Georgia. 847 and a buck 61. That is some serious race in action. Check out that Smokey Pierce Street burnout. Here comes Mike Hill, number seven qualifier out of Washington, Georgia. He'll take on Jeff Shaver out of Ocala, Florida in the beautiful blue 1968 500 cubic inch Chevrolet Camaro. All right, Mike Hill, number seven qualifier. Number 26 qualifier, Jeff Schauber out of Ocala, Florida. One of the Ocala, Florida street racers. They do it still on the street, and they mean business. This is a guy who bounced off the guardrail here last year at Pier Street. Let's see if he can get around one tough customer out of Washington, Georgia. Not cut down cherry trees there, baby. This is Mike Hill, number seven qualifier. Hill rolls in with 632 cubic inches of wheel standing Pontiac. Down into the hood, that Chevrolet starts down to the top end, baby. Look at the charge. Hill and the boys are climbing mountains today. 836, 168. They'll go another round in action. And here comes another Ford Chevrolet matchup. How about Carl Weisinger's own 69 Chevrolet Camaro? out of Orlando, Florida, and the 69, 489 will take on Eugene Young out of Plant City, Florida. <laughs> Eugene Young trying to do something with the car. I'm not sure if he's having carburation trouble or what. He's trying to get her alive. Young, oh, it does not sound good at this point. Crew down there checking it out. You know who doesn't mind is Tom Callis, number 17 qualifier. Out of Orlando, Florida, ready to go in that super stock style uh, Chevrolet Camaro. Beautiful machine, 489 cubic inches of the Chevrolet. Callis waits patiently. Now the Ford Mustang comes in for the battle.
Let's see if Eugene Young has the power to get off the starting line. Callis now the last man going into the beams. Leads it out. Wheels go in the air in the Ford Mustang. A secondary wheel stem lead. A tire shaking on that Chevrolet. Down to the top end. He waited long enough for a victory. 867. Tom Callis comes back for another round of action in our Pier Street Eliminator. And look at a smoke down on the top end. Another visit to the Piston Goddess, baby. All right, 1969 Chevrolet. We have a couple of them here today. Anyway, out of Fairfax, Virginia, ready to knock it out. It's Kevin Gibson, number 27 qualifier. Here comes Kenny Rainwater, the number six machine. Great smoky burnout. I'll tell you what, Rainwater didn't look too healthy coming out of the water box area. I don't know if they need more water out of Hoover, Alabama, 77 Chevrolet Camaro with a 400 cubic inch supercharged Chevrolet on board. Oh, you saw the sticker there, some oddy performance there. Ken Rainwater and the team, it's strapped down, it's seat belted in, it's time to go to town. Rainwater looks to get out front, and he does. Gibson trying to hang in there, he's going back to Fairfax, Virginia. Rainwater goes another round. Look at a number for Rainwater, 825 at 169 miles per hour. That'll bring up one of the world's fastest slapper bar cars ever created. Well, Tyree Smith coming up out of North Miami, Florida in the 66 Chevrolet 2, the number 18 qualifier. Tyree's uh, technician shop. I'll tell you, these guys know how to make some serious power. Now, it's going to be a broken by run, meaning that the guy that didn't show up to race Tyree, he was just scared to death of that Nova. Look at this, lets the shootout at what, 800 feet, still runs 961. I don't think I'd show up either. Oh, he had the skull and crossbones on the shoot. Here comes uh, one and only Dennis Ramsey, number four qualifier out of Tampa, Florida. Look at this thing hit. Oh, man. Talk about a nitrous explosion. Man, Dennis Ramsey and Tim Lynch and the boys going down. Lynch didn't make it out of Woodstock, Georgia, so Ramsey has got to go back and see if he can get it fixed up for the next round. Watch this in slow motion. Boom. Going to a barbecue. Boom. Going all alone. Boom. Going to a barbecue. Boom. Might be going home. All right, ladies and gentlemen, biggest upset of the afternoon coming up. Shannon Wren out of Clearwater, Florida, doesn't mind. The 63 Chevrolet Nova with a 496 Chevy was supposed to take on the number two qualified Jimmy Keene and the Mustang out of Palmetto, Florida. Those guys didn't make the call. They broke. Some of the biggest names in drag racing not making a call here this afternoon. Doesn't matter. Wren may be one of the new names at the, the top of your local magazine stand. Here comes Todd Jackson out of Kingston, North Carolina. 1963 Chevrolet Corvette. Michael Barber didn't make the call. He broke his car. And it looks like the vet's going to take the win here easy on a by run. Down on the top end, Jackson nails one out of the park, baby. Here we go with Aaron Hobley. Out of Tampa, Florida, the 72 Nova. Here's another upset of the afternoon. The number three qualifier being Bill Glidden. I'm not talking about the paint man either. Was supposed to be there at Tower Side out of Whiteland, Indiana. Glidden broke the car. Couldn't bring the world record setting uh, Super Street car to the lanes. And it looks like the Chevrolet Nova, Varen Hobley doesn't mind, out of Tampa, Florida. They'll go down, make a time run. Here and come back for second round of Pierce Street Eliminator. 987, 136 miles per hour. A towel head. Get out of the way. Florida Performance Wholesale is your trackside one-stop shop for all your high-performance needs, including Jacobs Electronics, Goodrich Automotive Plumbing, Mickey Thompson Tires, Portable Air Tanks, K&K Jump Starters, AED Performance Fuel Systems and Components, and much more. Florida Performance Wholesale also specializes in nitrous oxide systems, parts, and refills. They may be coming to a show near you. When you're at the track, look for Florida Performance. Welcome back to Orlando Speed World for the World Street Nationals. Man, oh man, is the crowd just unbelievable. Check them out. Thousands of people, gate hangers, just checking out some of the best in pro street racing. I'll tell you what, we couldn't all get it on just one tape. We had to make another tape. The tape with the best of the best in pro street racing. And program number two has a complete line of the super pro street class from eliminations to qualifying to driver interviews. You won't want to miss this tape either. Get it, strap in, and enjoy. Now 
it's time for round number one of eliminations in our, oh man, can you believe it? Street fight class. We've got the pro cycles coming up here at Orlando Speed World. Ladies and gentlemen, look at the wheel stand. Man, oh man, hanging on. You better have leathers and boots to ride this thing. Head like the head like that on the top end, number three, number six, qualifier. Win goes to John Dorbin out of Sarasota Ford on the 85 Suzuki GS 1150. 978, and man, look at this in slow motion. You talk about having roller blades to keep the thing on. That is a toe dragger, my friends. That is just flat out scary. Next two coming to the line, Eric Bush and Steve Jones, number four and five qualifier out of Titusville, Florida and Atlanta, Georgia. <laughs> Steve Jones in the right lane. Oh man, oh man, the tank slapped him in the face. Man, now they've got it on the ground, down on the top end. There's a win, Eric Bush goes down there trimming more than the hedge out of Florida, the 94 Suzuki. He goes 952 at 144. Look in slow motion. You want to talk about not having wheelie bars on the back of your bike? That is how you strap two-wheel action down to the asphalt. You have to use your tippy toes. Next two coming up into the starting line. It looks like Stuart Hamby. Hamby leaving good. Hamby's got himself a heck of a charge going into the Orlando Base 95 GSXR. 938-144 for the win to a 10-15 of Styler. Chris Williams and Tommy Holloway now making their charge. Win would go to Williams in this outing. 936, 146 miles per hour out of Osseo, Florida in his 92 GSXR. All right, next up, the Pro Compact Class, round number one of eliminations. And if you've never witnessed Pro Compact Class racing and you've never heard RPM, hang on. You better put your bulletproof vest on. These things are incredible. I don't mean the vest for exploding motors either. Hang on as they bring them to the line. First up, it'll be the number one and eight qualifier. Number one, Fernando Rivera out of Orlando, Florida, the 72 Dotson Rotary Power. He'll take on number eight, Luis Cuelles. Luis Cuelles. Out of Orlando, Florida. Get ready to rumble. There they go. Check it out. Now, yeah, man, the last time I heard something like this was in Steve Johnson's garage when he put his McCullough chainsaw on some nitrous oxide. The Kilo Machine takes the win. 1036, 124 miles per hour. Rivera goes another round in this racing action. How about Herberto Santiago out of Orlando, Florida, and David Dorbad out of Orlando in his 71 Dotson rotary powered machine? He's the number three qualifier in the blue machine. Watch as they roll to the starting line. Herbardo Santiago, oh man, there's my favorite color coming to the line. That is the mustard Dutch pretzel colored yellow. Now they'll leave the starting line. Yeah, that guy had to hold his ears too. Popping through the exhaust. Good charge. Look at the wheels bowing in on all this horsepower. Herbardo Santiago, number three qualifier, 72 Dotson takes the win. 1066 at a buck 25. Uh, yeah, where is the Taco Bell dog? <laughs> Well, Edwin Rodriguez, number two qualified, 69 VW, 240 cc's. Man, I don't know what he's feeding this thing. Look at that thing jump off the line, though. You might think there might be got dually beans and rice there riding shotgun, baby. He's got it hanging out, though. That VW is going to town. Uh, Carl Biacardi could not make the call. 1034 for the win for Rodriguez. He'll be back for another round of Pro Compact. Man. Incredible horsepower, LVAO. I'll tell you the LVAO machine. I don't know what that means in Spanish or Puerto Rican or anything, but it may be something serious. So let's not make fun of it. Make fun of it. Come on, he's going through the number two, getting the, the enchilada salad with everything on it. Watch this. Here comes no other than uh, possibly a transplant from Herbie the Lugbub days on uh, Royds. Watch this thing leave the line. You're gonna like this. Number five qualifier, Freddie Rivera out of Orlando, Florida. Oh, 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 oh! He's got, got, slam it in the back. Someone Heimlich it. Oh, geez, that's what happens when you choke on goat's tongue. Oh, uh, he's gonna have to just take it down there. Someone patted him on the back. All right, race fans, let's take a look from last night's Pro Compact qualifying it was incredible Saturday night. I'll tell you, the fans that are all familiar with the American Pro Street Movement, how about this Pro Compact Movement? I'm gonna tell you, it's one of the largest growing drag racing sports in the country today. Guys running rotary motors, nitrous oxide injected machines, even guys running the Weber Grill. I guess, ladies and gentlemen, it's true about Spanish food. Tabasco sauce and taco 
goes right out the back end. No, man, that ain't even funny. That guy is still in that car, down on the top end. The door whips open. Somebody in the crowd jumps over the guardrail to get my hand. Bring the blankets. Ladies and gentlemen, incredible. That's all I can say. God bless America and Puerto Rico and Spain and everybody that is from Europe and everywhere else and Mexico. Watch this in slow motion. This is a Tabasco night of fire, my friends. The Mazda, uh, well, actually a fuel line busts off the Mazda, it erupts in flames, and the driver's in for the ride of his life. The door's open trying to get out of the car. This has got to be the most scariest moment at any motorsports. Fire is just scary. He's out of the car, thank God. Oh, man, look at this. Talk about going out on a night on the town. Oh, out of the door, in the door. He's got the door wide open. Look, you can see him jumping out. He's on the brakes, and he brings it to a halt, and... Oh, the Orlando Speed World safety crew right on the ball. They're out there getting the fire put out. Steve Johnson helping them out from NOS. I mean, this is what it's about, all team effort. Thank God this man got out of this car. One of the scariest moments in the sport of drag racing. I'll tell you what, his hair was black. You can see it now. He's got a flaming red hairdo. I'll do it any time. Don't worry. Let me just start for a second. You got some information from me? You got a little smoke in your nose, though. Yeah. Hold on. Look at that. Now that the fire's out, it's time to have some more fun at Orlando Speed World. Let's go back to the starting line. Well, Herberto Santiago out of Orlando, Florida, brought up his beautiful 72 Datsun for a little test and tune here on this Saturday night. Headlights on, cruising lights, probably got some of the mariachi band music going in there. Purging the nitrous oxide a bit. Check this out. Could you imagine coming up to a street light downtown Orlando and this happens to you? Holy cow, man. Herberto and the boys from Orlando, Florida laying down the law. Watch this in slow motion. If this doesn't get your jumping beans up, nothing will. Man, what a wheel stand, some three to four feet in the air. These guys are serious, and so is this pro compact yeah. business. Check that out, one tough kick, whoa! Three wheels, the orange coat, no guardrail. I'm gonna tell you what, that is a year's supply of salsa and the chips to boot. Man, oh man, that guy's gotta be shaking in his boots. Out of the car, he can't believe it. The kilo safe. You know, the thing here is he borrowed his brother's car for the event and uh, he didn't scratch it. So now he's going back to say seven Hail Marys and 18 Our Fathers. Thank God. Let's watch this one time in slow motion. Look at that wheel stand. Man, gosh, at this point, anything could have happened and it does. This thing goes on three wheels. Now, Mr. Kilo's looking at the back of the bug, now nailing out the uh, Orlando Speed World timing devices. And you know the incredible thing? On three more wheels, so, well, actually, he was on the ground on three wheels. He didn't even hit the guardrail. I, too, would have stopped and ran to the porta potty. And the Volkswagen down on the top end that the Kilo machine was racing Keep went off the racing surface and into the swamp. And then went oh, on. Oh, man, and ladies and gentlemen, I don't know. We're going to have to see if everything's OK down there on the top end. Yeah. 70 foot deep lake. The car went upside down. And uh, Edwin Rodriguez, I believe, the driver of that car. There he is. Edwin is in the back of the ambulance. Thank God, Edwin. Are you okay? I thought about that. That's got to be something. Splash. Hey. <laughs> there was, there was before a second before he take off. There was an tower. They you know, you got were, to, you got we're to scared of all you four yeah. cylinders. I'm like, yeah. well, <laughs> they are. I wasn't scared yeah. of anything yeah. else but the gators. I mean, they are in back there. I mean, but when they saw him flying in the water, they said, oh my God. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> felt, felt the car sinking in the water and I got out. <laughs> swam. And swam out. That's the luck to right there. away say. Oh, yeah. Water was up, up to the top of the door right away. You gonna go get it later? Yep, are tomorrow. Gonna, are you gonna, like, uh, hope there's no gator inside it when you bring it out? Yeah, we'll see. Maybe he's driving it right now. <laughs> That's a good attitude. 
I'll tell you, we've seen it all here in Orlando from flying little uh, Toyotas to swimming Volkswagens down there in the Gator Pit. Ladies and gentlemen, now let's go to round number two of our Pro Street DOT. Round number two would bring up Daryl Watson out of Lawrenceville, Georgia, the 1970 Chevrolet Nova with a 632 cubic inch power plant. You know, this is a great matchup right here. Number five and number four qualifier. Eric Jones is number four with his uh, North Carolina based 68 Chevrolet Camaro. They both carry 632 cubes of power. Let's see who gets the jump here on the gun. This is going to be a great drag race, especially for the street tire fans sitting on the stands here at Orlando Speed World. Well, you can hear the thump of the nitrous oxide purge. You can see Jones' team doing some kind of break dance down there to get their car right on the beams. This is going to be a flat out war zone. Here they come, moving into the beams, fully staged, lights it out, green lights go to the wheels in here for Jones. Better hole shot goes to Watson, a great drag race down to the eighth mile. Check it out, bumper to bumper, identical 766s. On the other hand, it would be no other than the Georgian. Out of Lawrenceville, Georgia, Daryl Watson nips his way to a victory on the top end. Danny Rowe all the way from Laguna Hills, California. The 69 small block supercharged Chevrolet Camaro ready to take on James Wrench's beautiful 71 Mustang. That Mustang backing up. And they had some major nitrous oxide problems with the Mustang here in qualifying yesterday. Uh, the thing just uh, seemed to bust the nitrous oxide line. So I'm not sure if they're running one kit or two at this point. Wrench on the other hand will pull in and uh, doing all his blessings right from the starting line. This is gonna be a good drag race. Danny Rowe, the pressure has to be on. He's gone one round, now it's time for the pressure round. Round number two, who will come back for the semifinals? Will it be James Wrench or Danny Rowe? Let's sit back and watch. Shotgun Hemi sitting in there between the frame rails of the Ford Mustang. Man, there's some serious cubes. 598 cubes of the Shotgun Hemi. Now let's see. Who will get the whole shot off the starting line? That's very important here. The Ford Pierce Floridian now rolls it in ever so gently. Lights it up. Oh, a tremendous whole shot going to the Ford. 467 to a sleep at 683. But here comes the pack of ease on the top end. 744, 170 miles per hour. And Danny Rowe advances to the next round. Supercharged 69 Chevrolet Camaros. You wouldn't get this much action in your latest porn video. The Sandman backing up in the hot rubber. He laid down on the burnout. He's got the Mickey Thompsons aboard on the back end. Those big boots ready to go to town. You know, this is going to be one of the toughest races for Tony Williams in his career. He's a number eight qualifier, like we said, out of Millington, Tennessee. 69 with a 540 Keith Black aboard. Uh, now, on the other hand, the number one qualified, number one car in the country in Pro Street DOT Racing out of uh, Midland, Virginia, the one and only Jeff Miller bringing his car to life. This is going to be one flat out war zone. You can see the National Streetcar Association sticker. That guy is one of the baddest in the business. Supercharged again, supercharged. Here we go. Starting line leads, and it looks like Miller with a whole drive. Straps one out of the street racing 69. Chip Lake about down to the top. And the Sandman goes to the rod, 756, 193, to a losing 795. That'll bring up Corky. That's not all, folks. Corky going down, saving the power for the next round. Corky Markward out of Seminole, Florida, had a broken by run. That'll put him in the next round. This could be awesome. Speaking of the guy climbing mountains this weekend, how about the Hill team? Mike Hill, number seven qualifier out of Washington, Georgia, and a 68 Chevrolet Camaro. 
He's ready to go again. He's got the chassis engineering, the HAL stickers on there. He is ready to take it to town. Terry Woodson, on the other hand, out of Kennesaw, Georgia. The 88 Mustang really run it strong with a 441 cubic inch Ford power plant. They're the number 10 qualifier. That's going to be a good matchup here. Watch the number 7 and number 10 car get it on in Pier Street. I'll tell you one thing, uh, story has it that uh, Old Hill here does his uh, share of street racing duties down there in Georgia. Let's see how he handles it here on the track. Look at his secondary wheel stand, plants the tires down, goes around the Ford, around the eight mile. It's going to be a heck of a race. Hill does it with a win, 832, 169. Woodson was there for the battle at 850 at 160. Next two cars coming to the starting line. Here comes a little Nova of Shannon Wren out of Clearwater, Florida, the 1963 model year. He'll take on the Nova of no other than Tyree Smith. Man, the only thing missing in that burnout was Stimpy. Now they'll back him up into the hot rubber and get ready to rock and roll. Orlando Speed World, this is what it's about. Pure street eliminations. We've seen it all here. And, you know, we'd have to say all these guys coming from all over the country just to race at this one, the biggest one in the world, the Speed World uh, Super Street Nationals. I'll tell you, there's nothing like it. If you're not here, I guess you're just sitting at home wishing you were. Down in the top end, Tyree Smith dumps the shoot with a victory, 862, 159. Wren finally goes down there, gets a hot dog, and enjoys the rest of the race from the bleachers. Then he'll bring up Dennis Ramsey, number four qualifier, and here comes the Canadian. It's going to be an all Ford battle this time, the JP Performance Paul Silva machine out of Toronto, Canada. They came in and qualified number 13 with his 87 Mustang with a small block 384 and a stick shift. You know, the question here is, is Ramsey's machine running up to par? After we went to the Shiska barbecue in the last downing, blowing flames out of the hood, it makes you wonder, will Ramsey have enough to get around the Canadians in this outing? Ladies and gentlemen, the number four qualifier, Dennis Ramsey, and Chuck Fest's machine sitting there waiting. God, is that announcer good, huh, fans? All right, here they go into the lights. Boom, there we go. Look at Ramsey hanging with the Canadian down to the eight mile. Oh, man, that's an engine explosion. And it looks like Silver and the boys go another round. 843, 165. Ramsey smokes to a 10 second motor explosion. Here comes Todd Jackson, number 12 qualifier out of Kingston, North Carolina, baby. It's all fiberglass, it's fun, it's here in Orlando in the sun. 100 plus mile per hour Chevrolet Corvette. He's going on broken by because he knows that the Lada couldn't bring the 68 Chevrolet back. The Canadian had to go home. Jackson goes another round. You want to talk about having a horseshoe, man. Mr. Wilbur's with him all weekend. Ninth flat, next two cars to the line. Dwayne Waldrop, who also hails out of the Chicagoland area, burns up his Hobart, Indiana. Oh, is that a beautiful 1969 Chevrolet? Man, it's amazing. Some snowman's gonna own it at the end of the day. Next up, it's gonna be the Chevrolet Camaro of Ken Rainwater out of Hoover, Alabama. Oh, look at Rainwater shake the tires, and there goes a smoky uh, small block of Pat Musi down the track. It looks like man, that guy is not going to be stopped all day. 865, Dwayne Waldrop goes another round in Pierce Street at a buck 60. Number one qualifier, fans. Oh, if that's not a smoky burnout, check it out. I'll tell you, once again, the guys in MVC doing a great job getting in the action. I mean, they get right in it. There's a world champion, first man ever in the sevens, Chuck Samuels, in a super street style racing car. Purging the nitrous oxide, doing everything he can. He's the number one qualifier from the Fast Times entry. I'm talking about bullets, man. They know how to build them down there at Fast Times. Now let's watch if Tommy Callis, the number 17 qualifier, hammers him off the line. Samuels stays with him. Oh, the Chevrolet gets out of the ground. Goes to the center line. Chuck Samuels loses a round to Tommy Callis. Down to the top at 876. The Taco Bell dude goes nuts at a buck 56. We're going another round of action with the old Weisinger's Camaro. Man, he's got to be pumping it up there with the, the old olive dip. Oh, the burnouts are complete. Mike Yedigary, number 14 qualifier on a Toronto, Canada. That's not him. 
That's the guy he's going to try to beat up on. There's Yadigarian's machine. Rolls to the starting line. Aaron Hobley, number 30 qualifier out of Tampa, Florida. He's got the single wheelie bar. I don't know if he got that as a John Force garage sale or what. Anyway, leaving the starting line, banging the tires, smoking them off the rims. Look at this, Yadigarian in the transmission voice from Canada. Bang, another one, 836 for another victory. Top end speed, 172. Man, that's some serious mile per hour. Francis Butler's even smiling about it. Couldn't you see? Here comes the number 24 qualified machine of Chris Tedeschi. On a Clearwater, Florida, the 1970 Chevrolet Camaro with a 482 cubic inch power plant. He's got the deserved buy run in this outing. Let's see if he'll go for lane choice or will he just prefer to save some parts because you know, we're going into round three where things are getting tougher, cars are getting rougher, and you need every ounce of horsepower to get this thing down to the final. Nice lead, goes out 100 feet, shuts it off. Ladies and gentlemen, you know, your seatbelt. We'll be back with round three in just a moment. Before you buy a bed liner for your truck, find out more about Bedrug's soft bed liner, the next generation in tough truck bed protection. Cargos can't slide. Whether you're carrying groceries, lumber, tools, pets, fishing tackles, motorcycles, jet ski, or even greasy engine parts, the Bedrug cleans up easy. Tough dirt, tough grease, tough haul. Bedrug protects your vehicle. For more information on the Bedrug, call True Colors at 708-499-9575. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Orlando Speed World. The cars are hot and also the sun as we get ready for our second chance Pierce Street Eliminations. Carl Weisinger once again put about 800 bucks in the pot and said, hey, the cars that didn't make the 32 car field, we're giving these guys a chance to go home champions also with their own little race within a race. This is just flat out awesome. Only at Orlando Speed World where you see something like this happen. So the second chance elimination starting up right now in Pierce Street. Coming to the starting line, here comes Richard Stein, the man who qualified way down in the list in the 72 Chevrolet Camaro out of Woodsboro, Maryland, 496 cubic inch Chevrolet. He will take on the RX-7. RX-7 on a Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Marino Cintron. Marino Cintron looks like he's going to the piston goddess in this run. Down on the top end, Chevrolet Camaro, Richard Stein takes the win, 868 at 158 miles per hour. Next two cars coming to the starting line. Get ready, Chevy fans, the 1969 Chevrolet Camaro. Beautiful looking 69 Chevrolet Camaro. Came into the qualifying ladder here this weekend looking for uh, possibly a good run. Running somewhere with that 468 cubic inch Chevrolet. And the Mustang on the other hand, Scratch McGee. Scratch McGee goes out. Oh man, it looks like the head gets me. 69 Chevrolet, he's hanging into it, baby! He's gonna go all the way boom, to the guardrail! Oh man, oh man, smokes his way to a victory! I don't even know if he crossed the center line. Gee whiz, how about it? Watch this in slow motion. A little bit of nitrous oxide, a big block Chevrolet rat, and boom! That's what it's like to drive in your own antifreeze or uh, possible water. Blowing a head gasket, staying into it. This guy definitely thought he was, uh, going into the nitrous or something. I'm not sure. Look at that. Oh, serious damage to the right side of that car. What do you do after something like that? Well, you call a tow truck. Gotta look next year on this one. So what happened out there? Just lost traction when I went in the second kit down there. I only had one qualifying pass a day and I had a little problem, so I come back now in the second chance trying to lay the number down. And it did a little too much. I'll tell you what, the boys from D&D Racing, a little bit of sheet metal damage, a few fenders and a quarter. Those guys will be back next year for some more Pierce Street action. Speaking of action, it's time to salute the flag, baby. Here we go, next two cars coming to the starting line in Pier Street. Brent Mewshaw out of Melbourne, Florida, the 89 Pontiac Firebird. Man, oh man, remember when Reagan twisted her head? That's what came out. 
Anyway, it'll take on the one and only Tony Mashi out of North Lauderdale, Florida. 68 Chevrolet Camaro into the lights. Ready to go. RPMs coming up. Stutter boxes are going to town. Nitrous oxide injected. Watch the Pontiac build excitement. Man, oh man, Musha leaves the starting line with a better hole shot. Down to the top end. It's all Pontiac action, baby. Top end charge goes to Musha. 916, 149 miles per hour to a slower 960. Here he comes. He's bombing. He's bombing. He's knocking him down. Rocking Rob Cherokis out of Longhorn, Pennsylvania. Rolls up in his beautiful 83 RX-7. And a little Mustang coming up is uh, Mike Moody. Maybe a relation to Alan Moody. Mike Moody coming up out of Mableton, Georgia. 85 Mustang, 306 cubic inch. Ford Power coming here. The second chance. Pierce Street run for the 800 fun. That's what it's all about. 434 cubic inch Chevrolet. You know, I asked Rob down in the pits earlier, how did they get that much cubes under the hood of that little rice burner? He said, hey, went down to the local fire department, rented the hearse tool, stretched it out, dumped it in, brought it to Orlando for the funnest place in the world. Says next year the vet should be ready, so hang on, fans. Let's see, Rock and Rob Cherkis, he qualified somewhere down in the ladder. Now they leave, I think he made just the bump on that car. Going down into qualifying, yeah, Cherkis was number 33 out of 32, and it looks like he may come back for another round of action. He does, the RX-7 puts itself into the finish line first. 893 at 150 miles per hour. Maybe they ought to call it an RX-14. Next two cars coming to the starting line. Check it out. Ed Nash and Mark Scheib. Remember Mark Scheib years ago in the Chevrolet Nova? Beautiful machine. Now, he'll bring it up here in, uh, I believe, this uh, knock em out um, 1967 Chevrolet Camaro. 399 cubic inch small block Chevrolet. Ed Nash, on the other hand, out of Orlando, Florida, in a 79 Chevy Camaro. Will roll to the starting line, both cars in, lights it down, wheels up in the air for Nash. Leaves the starting line pretty stout in the 79 Chevrolet Camaro. Looked like uh, Mark Scheib didn't even get off the line. Down on the top end, Nash bashes his way to a victory. 951, 144 miles per hour. Fans, don't go anywhere. Kids on the rail, hang on, it's time for more action coming up soon. Round number three of the Pier Street Eliminations. Look at Callis. Man, last time I looked at Callis, it was on my right hand. Tom Callis, number 17 qualifier, coming up, ready to go to town. And the number 24 qualifier, Chris Tedeschi out of Clearwater, Florida, 70 versus a 69 Chevrolet Camaro. Ready to roll into the beams. Hang on, race fans, Pier Street fans. Yeah, had a hit of nitrous oxide. It's time to get one now in this outing. The third round, number 24 qualifier, still hanging in top. Oh, Callis playing the light game, won't go in to last. Now Tom Callis rolls in, bumps it in ever so gently. He's in, lights it up, boom, goes the lights down in the green side. Tennessee with a hole shot and a half. Tom Callis gonna have to drive around him on the top end, and he does, race fans, 865, 157 miles per hour, and the crowd went berserk, they love it. All the umbrellas are out. Look out, the umbrellas are out in Orlando. Not because rain, because of pure street pain, baby. Here comes Hill, the man that's been an awesome driver all weekend. He's the number seven qualified Washington, Georgia-based Camaro. 632 cubic inches, Tyree Smith. He knows what he's up against here. He's the number 18 qualifier as he looks to his right and wonders about the Chevrolet. Man, I'll tell you, it looks a little fat on the nitrous purge there. Let's see if uh, old Hill's got any problems with that nitrous oxide. He'll roll it up. Now the purges are done. It's time to go race it. Ten and a half inch tires. Mickey Thompson's on a back end of Tyree's car. He's fully in and ready to go. Here comes Hill. Hill comes in for the battle. Lights come down. Wheels going down. Both machines. Tyree bounces down. He's out front to the eighth mile. But look at Hill with a top end charge. Amazing run. Man, Tyree thought he had him. Hill takes the win. 26 at 170 miles per hour. Hill's going to the fourth round, baby. How about Paul Silva? Are you ready for Canada? Get on your hockey skates, man. This is what it's about. Go check it in the boards. Silva will take on Todd Jackson. I don't see him. Where is he? Here comes Silva. Oh, listen to the RPMs of that little Ford. Man, oh man, the JP Performance Canadian team. Joe and Paul Silva. 
couple of brotherly love teams. I'm, uh, like I said before, these guys have done so much for the 5.0 movement in the Ford Drag Racing Series. Right now, it's time to noss your brains out. Todd Jackson out of Kingston, North Carolina, brings the arms up. Oh, look at a whole shot. Whole shot comes over to Jackson, but Silva will have none of it on the top end. Bring it into the high gear in that stick shift Ford Mustang, 841, 165. Jackson doesn't dump the laundry. Even Scott Hawking's wondering about this afternoon. It's been awesome. Here comes the Indiana-based Dwayne Waltrip, the number 11 qualifying machine. He'll take on the number 14 qualified Canadian Camaro out of Toronto, Canada, the Amico transmission guys. Man, I'm gonna tell you, these guys have run some serious mile per hour all weekend. Mike Yedigarian, ready to go. Crew looking down at something. I'm not sure if there's problems for yet again. He looks over at his crew, half the crew. Maybe they want to ride shotgun or something. They're checking it out. USA versus Canada in this outing. The Maple Leaf hanging on the back window. The Mickey Thompson's ready to go. They check the wheelie bars. Lights it up. There goes some smoke and small block on Dwayne Waldrop. It looks like hip hip hooray. It's going to the USA, baby. Dwayne Waldrip, 875, 159 miles per hour. Gilligan, the fish man, Melissa Gilberts, the carpenter, the kid, the NOS boss, everybody's pumping a stump in Orlando today. All right, here we go, round number two, the semifinals of the Pro Cycle event. Here comes Chris Williams, the number one qualifier, and Eric Bush, number five qualifier out of Titusville, Florida. 94 Suzuki GSXR 750, taking on the 1300cc 92 GSXR of Chris Williams. He's the number one qualifier for this event as he rolls his street bike into the beams. Get ready, fans. If you're into motorcycle racing, this is how it's done. Oh, a little bit of a wheel stand now. Williams, the number one qualifier, lost the whole shot. Can he regain? It looks like he will down on the top end. Wind light, 9.30 seconds. Goes to the number one qualifier, Chris Williams. He'll advance over the number five qualified machine of Eric Bush. Here's John Dorbin and Stuart Hamby. Hamby, on the other hand, uh, riding that beautiful 95 GSX-R Suzuki. Oh, beautiful lead. Look at Dorbin hole shotting. The number three qualified machine out front, 1150 cc's. A great drag race night, 53 to a 945. Dorbin gets the upper hand and advances to the finals. Here we go with Pro Compact semifinals coming at you. Edwin Rodriguez and Humberto Santiago out of Orlando, Florida, the number two and three qualified pro compact cars. They're in. The RPMs are coming up. Get ready, VW taking on the Datsun. He stutters his way out to win. Oh, and a secondary wheel stand in the second gear. Humberto Santiago trying to take the Datsun on a win. Not going to happen. Herbie's in heat, baby. Down on the top end, 10.45. Win goes to Rodriguez. Who will advance to take him on in the semi or in the finals, excuse me? Freddie Rivera or Fernando Rivera? I don't know if they're brothers, but if they're not, they're cousins from somewhere down the line. Believe me, the Rivera family. Number one and number five qualifier. Out of Orlando, Florida, the 60 Corona and the 72 Dotson coming to life. Man, you can remember last night when the Kilo machine almost won on its roof. Now it's time to try to go to another round here and maybe go to the finals. Freddy Rivera takes his time, gets into the beams, last man to stage. Looks like uh, Rivera is sitting there in the Kilo machine waiting patiently. Little Mickey Thompson's on the back end. I got something about that size, my wallet. As they leave the starting line, they bang the tires. Oh, El Viejo has some more problems. Than it. Oh, this is it, man. Both cars having problems. Who's going to go to the final? El Viejo. He's got it. He's going. He's going to listen. He's going to make it. He's going to go around him, is he? Oh, incredible. The Kilo car. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, you got to love it. The Kilo car is going to the rail for the second time this weekend. El Viejo at 25.51 seconds on your Spanish dial will go to the finals. And did you hear what that guy in the stand said? Must have been the nitrous, man. All right, here we go. Second round in the second chance pure 
first three eliminations. Coming up, who's going for the big 800 cash here? Well, let's see. Still the Pontiac's in. Frank Mushaw to Melbourne Ford in the 89 Firebird 400. Giving it Chevy, leaving his starting line on a red light start. Scratch McGee. That's just what he did to himself in this round. Scratched off the list. Last time I had a scratch, I'll tell you. I can't tell you where it was. 10.34 for the Pontiac, winning down in the top end. Oh, man, 97 miles per hour. Here he comes in the treetop all day long, rocking and bopping, rocking and Rob Cherokee will take on Eddie Nash. And this is going to be an important race here for Cherokee on a Longhorn, Pennsylvania, the 83 RX-7. It is for sale. It is the world's fastest RX-7 streetcar. And this guy definitely has had his work cut out for him. There's Steve Johnson. He's styling out to the suntan here this weekend in Orlando. There's a nitrous oxide purge from Rock and Rob. Nash is into the 79 Chevrolet Camaro. Now let's see, RX-7 leaving a starting line. Rock and Rob with a whole shot just by a bit, a couple hundreds of a second down to the top end. RX-7's going another round. Number 33 qualifier will not leave town. 9, 10, 148 miles per hour to Nash's 940 at 149. That brings up the buy run for Richard Stein out of Woodsboro, Maryland. 72 Chevrolet Camaro with a 400. 96. Huh. Yeah, Chevrolet. Saving parts down there. Stein knows he's going to the semis in the next outing. Fans are loving it. Man, don't go anywhere. Just put on some more of that copper tone, and we'll be right back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the semifinals of Pro Street DOT going into the water. Hope they got their flippers on. Gotta love it. Supercharged a pair. Chevrolet 69, the model years. Now the burnout. Man, if that doesn't pierce your ears, the guy down at the local earring shop will. Unbelievable side-by-side -side smoky burnouts. And we're ready to go with the coast-to-coast -coast drag racing semifinalists. No other from, uh, man, look at this, fans. You got to love this. From the state of Florida all the way to the state of California. Backing up Corky Marquardt. Did he ever think he'd make it this far? First time ever in the DOT Street Wars. He's now a man that can brag all over the state of Florida in his 69 supercharged Camaro. He may be a super gas racer, but now he's got to take out the Laguna Hills 69 Camaro of Danny Rowe. The number three qualifier taking on that car. The number three qualifier, Danny Rowe, taking on the number 15 qualifier of Corky Marquardt. Man, you can see the pressure has to be building on the Laguna Hills California-based driver. 326 cubic inches. Ladies and gentlemen, Big Bruce is in the house. Hang on because when the belt's on tight, you know there's some serious Florida night racing coming up. Who's it gonna be here? Oh, the thump of supercharged Chevrolets. You gotta love it. They're into the beams. Lights are coming down. Incredible number at 176 miles per hour. Danny Rose going to the final, baby. Oh, here comes the number one qualifier. And a beautiful smoky burnout to boot. How about a couple of red Chevrolets on the starting line? Number one qualified Jeff Miller out of Midland, Virginia, ready to take on this beautiful Chevrolet Nova. The number five qualified Daryl Watson team. Man, these guys have been hot all year. Let's see if Watson can get the rally sport to go another round as they purge the nitrous. Oh, he's even bringing the kids for a ride. Man, he brought them for a ride before they were even born because you've got to have Gonads to drive this thing. All right, now they're making their move to the starting line. Ladies and gentlemen, number one in the country, Jeff Miller, the National Streetcar Association Chevrolet Camaro will roll in and take on the tough man in the right lane. Let's see if Watson can hole shot him. That's what he's going to need here. Oh, beautiful lead. They picked it up on the nitrous offside in front of me and Watson as he moves around in it. Here comes Miller down to a top end victory. 
40 to a losing 775. Jeff Miller goes another round into the final with Danny Rowe, a couple of supercharged behemoths, fans. I'll tell you, and the fans in Orlando are loving it, and we're not even close to being done yet. Here we go, semifinals of eliminations. Look at Hill. Good smoky burnout. Dwayne Waldrip lays down the rubber. Man, oh man, the small block nitrous oxide assisted Chevrolet Camaro all the way from Hobart, Indiana. It's gonna be a Georgia-Indiana matchup here. Hill ready to take on the kid. That is a nice looking Chevrolet. Both are a nice looking deal here. Mike Hill's a number seven qualified machine. Look at him leave the lights here at the starting line. Hill showing a Walmart or Hobart, Indiana boys how to get to the finish line. He gets around to Wayne Waldrop down on the top end. Hill's going to the final, baby. Mike Hill runs incredible 836. Who will he take on? Will it be the Canadian? Tom Callis, man oh man. Speed World has to be proud right now. Tom Callis, number 17 qualifier, made it to the semis, Orlando, Florida base machine. Carl Weisinger, the owner of the 69 Chevrolet Camaro. You gotta love this. 489 cubic inches, the Ford 384 cubic inches, the Ford power ready to go. Silva leaves the line with the wheels in here. One 163 mile per hour charge. Callis 1871. Fans, we've got a Canadian US battle coming up in the final of Pier Street. Gentlemen, semifinals. Look at this. Rock and Rob finds the bye run. He's going to the finals for the 800 bucks. Johnson's got to love it. The smell of nitrous oxide out of California. Mike Thermos. Man, put it in there and keep it cool all night. Here we go. Chevrolet Camaro on the right lane. Stein sounded like a thump, man. He's giving a purge. There they go. Nitrous oxide assisted Chevrolet Camaro. It's Musha out of Melbourne, Florida, 89. Penny, I can't get tapped, but Stein's going to make a charge at the top end, and he does. All the way from the state of Maryland, going to the finals in a second chance Pierce Street deal. Look at a number, 885. Cherkis knows what he needs for uh, that next round. He's going to save parts. He said, hey, I'm bringing back the small block RX-7. And uh, just like the kid's telling him, Dad, you paid to get in. It was well worth the bucks. Florida Performance Wholesale is your trackside one-stop shop for all your high-performance needs, including Jacobs Electronics, Goodrich Automotive Plumbing, Mickey Thompson Tires, Portable Air Tanks, K&K Jump Starters, AED Performance Fuel Systems and Components, and much more. Florida Performance Wholesale also specializes in nitrous oxide systems, parts, and refills. They may be coming to a show near you. When you're at the track, look for Florida Performance. Ladies and gentlemen, the final in Pro Compact. Here we go. Edwin Rodriguez and Freddie Rivera. Man, look at him banging the fenders. They might be Freddie Fender for all I know. As they go on in the line, it looks like the VW may be the champion here in the Pro Compact. He is Edwin Rodriguez, the number two qualifier. Goes home with a victory at 10.43 in your championship here. 192 miles per hour, he wishes. It may be someday, though. As we move into the Pro Cycle, final elimination. Ready to go in, Chris Williams and John Dorbrin. Dorbrin off the starting line. Better hole shot would go to Williams, the number one qualified machine on his 92 GSX-R. Down on the top end. He may not be the quickest, but he gets the win. 940 for Williams out of Aussie, Florida. Well, here we go. Second chance. Pier Street eliminations the final round. Chevrolet. Well, one half of a Chevrolet. Rock and Rob coming up in the RX-7. Stein in the Maryland base Chevrolet Camaro. Who's it going to be? Get ready. Number 33 qualifier was Rock and Rob Cherkers out of Longhorn, Pennsylvania. Taking his time. Boom! He's into the lights. Knocks him out on the starting line. Rock and Rob with a better hole. Shot Cherk is Kenny hang on. It's almost like jumping out of a B37. Stein rips his heart out, throws it on the asphalt. Look at that race, 870 to a 158 mile per hour charge. Rock and Rob's going back to the Longhorn State, baby. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the final in Pro Street DOT, the final round of eliminations. Jeff Miller, number one in the country, the 69.
Rich Chevrolet. Beautiful burnout for Miller. Now Danny Rowe from Laguna Hills, California. He's in the tower side. Let's see what he has in store for us. Oh, man, ladies and gentlemen, down there, uh, right before they were preparing for the burnout, Danny Rowe lifted the supercharger. Came right off the manifold. The car is broke. Man, Danny, what an upsetting round. I mean, to come all the way from Laguna Hills, California, and have uh, an earthquake happen in the state of Florida. That has got to suck. Well, here comes Jeff Miller in the 69 RSSS Chevrolet. He's going to run her off the back door. The wheels in here past almost the eighth mile on the front right. Goes down to the top end, 737. Jeff Miller, your Orlando Speed World, Pro Street DOT World Champion this year. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Canadians and Americans, get ready. The final in Pure Street Eliminator on its way. Listen to the Chevys and the Fords. The burnouts have been complete. Now we give you the number seven qualified machine of Mike Hill. You may say it's been the upset Nationals, the Canadian tail and the Maple Leaf out there. They are pumped about this one. Paul Silva, the JP Performance sponsored Ford Mustang, the number 13 qualifier. Who said 13 was an unlucky number? Man, oh man. You know, this has been the upset Nationals. The best in the world have gone out early. Now two of the best in the business ready to bang heads here at Orlando Speed World in the Pier Street Final. Silva rolls into the beats for the battle. Hills in, lights it out. Green lights start. Both cars leave it on. And the green better all shot goes to Mike Hill. Now let's see if he can run those incredible 20s he's been running all week. Mike Hill and the Chevy takes the win on the top end. Hill goes 829, 168 miles per hour. The Canadians, the Ford, the fans, it's a 10, baby. It is a 10.01. What an awesome afternoon of drag racing at Orlando Speed World with the real world street nationals. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Al Tucci. On behalf of all the fine people at Orlando Speed World, remember, you don't have to drive fast and enjoy fast driving. Just get it on your TV screen at home. We'll see you at the same time, same place next year. Winner. Winner. Oh, Mike, how does it feel? Pretty good. Pretty good? Anybody you'd like to thank? Rob here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else? Anybody else here? Uh, these gentlemen over here, they help you out? Yes, yeah, true. Okay. He's going to be back next year? Yeah, most definitely. Any plans for, for the prize money? You can take these guys out to dinner, right? No, nah, they got to take me out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Isn't real okay. proud, you know, to have this one and uh, on Orlando Speedway, and uh, it's gonna be a next You're one. You're gonna be next year? Oh yeah, it's gonna be next year too. Sounds good. Uh, Congratulations. Well, thank you. What a race. What pure competition. The sixth annual World Street Nationals here at Orlando Speed World Dragway is now part of history. For Carl Weisinger, the hard-working crews here at Orlando Speed World Dragway, and from the production crew of NBC Broadcast Services, Rich, Scott, Mike, Rocky, and all the guys who bring this event to you on home video, thank you for watching, and we hope to see you here next October when the saga continues. The one, the only, the ultimate streetcar shootout, the Orlando World Street Nationals. Don't forget, make your reservations now for next year's Orlando World Street Nationals. It's a blast. The 6th Annual World Street Nationals from Orlando Speed World is brought to you by Florida Performance Wholesale, your trackside source for performance parts and accessories. And by Muscle Cars Plus Video Magazine, on the street or on the track, 
For muscle car action, it's Muscle Cars Plus.